Welcome to the Velvet Room. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Do you believe in fortune telling? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah! I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is eating. <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think?
Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Wait, seriously? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Terminal in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. The scandal involves the Enkistar Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Ms. should Mike we go Mino. soon? Yes, just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... Hey, over here. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Huh. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> well then. Let's get going. My car's over there. Hey. You dropped this. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. What's wrong? Welcome to Mole! Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh-huh. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. The city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? 
There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. What's wrong? You okay? That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go.